Hi there. Here's a video about a question I got on Twitter, and I saw it also at Augie, about creating a kick conduit, as it was referred to, where you create a conduit that has uh, got to change direction here and needs to kick over to get over to the other conduit. Um, the secret in this case with Revit 2012 that makes it a lot easier than in the past is that you can now uh, ignore the slope when you're connecting. Now these are three inch conduits and if I were to say draw a conduit from this spot here if I check this ignore slope to connect option and specify a bend radius that I can use consistently for the rest of them when I come down here and click on this other one it'll create that piece for me and then with the bend radius specified and that's still active I can then click on the subsequent ones the trick here really comes down to setting the elevation of the verticals and of the horizontals. So you notice in this case this is pretty messy. So if I undo this, this is set at six foot right now. So if I say maybe put it at five, and then go after this again, If the elevations are too close, then what happens is that Revit has a harder time generating the, the correct sort of uh, conduit run between them. You can see it's much more gentle in its approach at this point. So six foot compared with the nine foot elevation of this conduit here uh, resulted in uh, clumsy connections. But if I drop the tops of these down to five foot, then there's four foot of difference between here and this non-metallic, uh, I'm sorry, electric metallic tubing, the ones that don't have fittings in this case, uh, allows for this thing to gently transition from one to the other. And that three inch conduit is fairly fairly large, so that would hopefully be reasonably close to reality in some sense. Um, <coughs> so again, the trick there is to remember to get the elevations uh, and the endpoints of these guys roughly where you think they should be and in my case I put them at 45 degrees offset here so that they could stagger and then finding the right sort of elevation for the ends of these conduits so that uh, Revit can develop the other two pieces that it needed to put in here so there's a swept piece here and then another angled swept piece here elbow to create the final geometry and you can see I did the same sort of thing here uh, from there up to there. So it was really just a matter of getting these pieces to finish where they should go, this piece to finish where it should go, and then connecting from here to here, and then letting Revit work out the rest. And at least it'll get you close. Hope it helps.